As you guys know, I play Blockberg basically every day for the channel. When I'm recording, I always get the occasional creepers or stalkers that find me in the smallest servers. So I thought for today's video, if a Blocksburg stalker finds me, this video will end. This is perfect for a Monday episode because as you guys know, instead of taking days off on Mondays, I do a shorter episode. So it's better than not posting. So just so you all can see, I always have my joints set to no one. So not even my friends can join me, which they're probably like, oh my god. Why am I friends with Peter Bread? I can't join this game. So you're probably wondering, Peter, how will we know a stalker or a creeper got into your game? Well, for starters, we're in a low server. A low server? We're in a lonely server, and the chances of it being populated are very low. So yeah, there's that. And if it does if it does get populated, a bunch of people will join in all at the same time. But if it's just one person, then that's kind of a sign. But the biggest sign that you know a creeper got into your game is when they join, there's a follower symbol. And that means they know about you and they followed you. That's the big one right there. So yeah, that's how I know someone joined me is when the follower symbol and then they join me. So uh, I didn't think this through of what I was going to do for this video. I just expected someone to join me like right off the bat. So um, let's see. I'll do a house tour. Ooh, let's do a house tour. Okay, which one should I tour? Okay, let's do this one. This one's a fun one. Um, where do they live? I don't want to bother this person. Oh, look, they got the starter hole. They're so cute. I want a starter house. I want the starter house again. Okay. Loading, 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 loading. <gasps> I'm on visit streak 33 and my next reward is in 57 minutes. We're gonna make that 34 soon. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know why I have a bunch of lamps here, but let's just not... Yeah, let's just not pay attention to that. So this is my bikini bottom neighborhood where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward live. People have been asking me to make their houses when I've already done it and I've done a video on it too. Looking for those videos, videos will be in the description if you want to see me make them. Uh, I also made a toilet house already. I made a pizza house already. I made a coffee maker house already. I made a mailbox house already. I made a cake house. Um, so if you are wondering if I made those or not, well I did. And I'll try to find all those videos and put them in the description because people keep asking when I've already done it. Okay, so here we got the SpongeBob house. There, it's like the pipe thing. And then over here is Squidward's house, of course. And then we got Patrick's home, my most favorite one, because it's so simple and it's like perfect. You see this arrow? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. There's just Patrick's house, it's made out of sand. It's not exactly like the one in the show, but I just made a Blockberg version of it. And these are his Krabby Patties that are right next to his bed because he likes to wake up very early in the morning to eat food. Now that's a mood. And then over here is a nice bathroom. I like bathrooms. This one's very weird though. Let's not go in there. Everything's made out of sand. Okay, that's Patrick's house. Nothing much going on. He's a very interesting fellow. All right, moving on. We got uh, we got Squidward. Squidward house. It's very scary in here. Look at all the scary photos I put in here. Very. <gasps> that one's spooky. That's when he like woke up. And then like SpongeBob Patrick being too loud or something. Was it because of that? I don't know. That's scary. Um, oh, I fell. But he has a very uh oh it's over. 